good everybody welcome back to the channel uh if you're new here my name is malachi and uh i like to make dirt bike videos it's my brother isaac he get his dirt bike soon stay tuned for that y'all we ain't forget he is getting it yeah, soon coming it's soon. coming but um right now i'm gonna be teaching you guys how to wheelie so basically i'm gonna just go over everything i did to tell y'all how i learned how to wheelie and how i got good so fast because everything you just seen all them clips Everything I, everything you just saw, I did all of that in three months. I only been riding for a little over three months now, so I'm gonna show y'all how I did it, show y'all how I got good, and uh, give y'all some tips, give y'all a little bit of secrets, maybe some. Go. Alrighty, guys. So now we're at the location where I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to wheelie. First things first, you gotta know how to ride your bike. Okay, so whatever bike you got, doesn't matter. If it doesn't have a clutch, click off this video now, <laughs> okay? Um, I'm not even trying to like, just this isn't the video for you if your bike doesn't have a clutch. Moving on, if you have a clutch now, you need to learn how to use your clutch, okay? It's important to understand and, and know clutch control. Clutch control is very important and vital to your wheelies. So you're gonna have to have really good clutch control to, uh, to do your wheelies. And the next thing you need come over here is rear brake control you're gonna want to keep your foot over this John at all times so you want your foot hovering over this brake at all times you want to always be over the brake so you can just tap it if you need to come back down and a lot of the time you're gonna be riding it just slightly with your foot like almost just resting on top of it it's like riding the brake after you get to the balance point is just ride the brake and it'll just hold you there Next thing you need is throttle control. So clutch control, brake control, throttle control. These are the three most important things you need. This is everything you need to wheelie. Clutch control, brake control, throttle control. All right, one thing you wanna be sure of before you start doing wheelies is that your throttle does not stick like mine does, okay? If your throttle does this, you shouldn't be learning wheelies. Don't do it. It's a bad idea, it's not good. If your throttle sticks while you're in a wheelie, you can. It could throw you back, do a backflip, bad stuff. You don't want that to happen. I found that the best way to learn clutch, brake, and throttle control is honestly to ride in the dirt. Now that sounds really, really contrary to what we're trying to do here. You guys clicked on this video wanting to learn how to wheelie. You're saying, why are you telling me to get better in the dirt? I'm telling you guys, almost four months ago, I bought this bike. Uh, it's my first dirt bike. First dirt bike I ever rode, first dirt bike I ever owned, first just anything. And as you see, it's it's clearly a 250. Everyone told me not to get a 250. They said start on a small bike, this and the third. Long story short, I didn't. I got the big bike and in three months, I learned how to scrape. And everyone's like, well, no, that's impossible. You can't do that. And I had a couple people defending me saying, no, it's possible. But mostly everybody's telling me that's not possible. And the reason it is, is because if you learn clutch, brake and throttle control, that's all you really need to do a good wheelie. And on top of that, I rode wheelie bikes before I rode dirt bikes. So I understood the concept of a wheelie. I just had to switch the brake from my hand to my foot. So if you guys were watching this and you rode SC bikes and you guys were good at wheelies on those, you can already wheelie. All you have to do is get it out of your head that the brake is in your hand and that it's in your foot. That's all you have to do. You can already wheelie. Moving on. If you don't, then all you have to do is honestly hop, forget about wheelies for about a month. Just an entire month. Just completely forget about wheelies. Get it out of your head. Ride in the dirt. Get better at the dirt. Get better on the track and trails, whatever, the woods, whatever you got to do. Get better at clutch control. Get better at brake control and get better at throttle control. Once you have those down, then go try to wheelie again, and I guarantee you, you'll be able to do it fast as shit. All right, so now that we got all that out the way, we got the clutch control out of the way. You need good clutch control. You need good foot brake control. You got that out the way, and you need good throttle control, and you need a throttle that doesn't stick. After you learned all of that, you got good clutch and brake and throttle control. Now it's time to hop on the bike. So you hop on the bike, you start it up. What gear do you want to go in? You want to start in second gear. This is pretty like general for like any bike in my opinion, because I've had people ask me like while I was riding, seeing other people while I'm riding, oh, how do you like, what gear do you wheelie in? And everyone tells me that they're in first. I don't know why people are wheeling in first. You're not gonna be able to slow wheelie in first gear if you're just starting out. So your best bet is honestly starting in second gear. Second gear is the easiest gear to wheelie in on 
on any bike in my opinion because second gear gives you that first gear torque to pick it up but it also gives you a little bit extra range to ride it out it doesn't give you enough range to ride it out to the point where you're going to flip yourself back unless you give it too much off the jump so you're going to want to start in second gear and you're going to want to start kind of slow but not too slow so you want to be rolling so everybody told me to start one foot down one foot over the brake first gear pop the clutch right but what i did was i said fuck it both feet on started powering up bad idea but luckily i did not fall doing that i don't know how especially on that brand new tire brand new knobby no idea how it's a miracle but i didn't so what i'm gonna tell you the reason i bring that up is to tell you guys not to power wheelie especially if you're on a race bike do not power wheelie starting off you're gonna be using the clutch to pop it up next you're gonna have to learn how to clutch up so after you're in second gear rolling you want to learn how to clutch up if you have good clutch control you already know the engagement point of your clutch so you know the engagement point of your clutch you just want to give it gas you want to hold it a little bit give it a little bit more gas and pop the clutch at the same time yeah, sure. so you're holding at the engagement point give it some gas you're holding the gas and then you give it more gas and let the clutch out simultaneously so look engagement point if, for those of you who don't know what the engagement point is when i let the clutch out and it starts to move that's the engagement point right there when it starts to move oh, and then if you let it out too much it'll stall obviously but once it starts to you feel it once you feel it start to pull a little bit that's how you know where the engagement point's at now i got the engagement point I want to go second gear, I want to get bowling, get into second gear, and then I want to try that. Once you try it, it's going to feel like it's coming up a little bit aggressive, especially if you're on a more powerful bike. It's going to feel really aggressive coming up, because you're not going to be used to it. You just want to keep your foot over the brake, and don't panic. Keep your foot over the brake, and just slam the back down. you want to be doing to start off you don't want to just go for a straight long wheelie you want to learn how to pop it up slam the brake down, uh, back down and repeat it That's when I realized I started making progress. Once I was picking it up and slamming it and stalling the bike, yes, it's not technically good, but that's when I realized I was making progress. So if you guys are starting off at first and you're hitting it back down a little bit and like you're doing it, but you're not getting that high, it's fun. Just keep doing it. And once you start to get higher and higher, you're naturally gonna hit the brake harder because you're gonna panic a little bit because you're not gonna be used to it. So just try to stay calm. But once you get further back for the first time, you're gonna hit that brake a little bit harder and you might stall the bike out, but it's fine. That's good. That means you're making progress. Once you got that down, you know how to pop the bike up. You know how to pop the clutch. You know how to get it up. Now you want to keep it up because you're used to getting it up and you're used to putting it down. You put it down enough. Now you just want to keep it up. In order to keep it up, you do not want to chase it. You don't want to chase wheelies. You want to get further back. So, when your forks are parallel with the ground that you're riding on, that's when you're at balance point. So you can look to the side of the bike, you can look straight to the other side, however you want to look at it. You can look under, you can look however you want to look at the bike while you're doing the wheelie. It doesn't matter how you look at it, but when you see that your forks are parallel with the ground, that's how you know that you're at balance point. And you'll feel it too, but that's how you'll know visually that you're at balance point and you'll be able to gauge it from that. When you're popping it up, just try to get your forks parallel with the ground. Every time, try to go higher and higher until you see your forks are parallel with the ground. And once you get there, you'll automatically lock into it and just ride it out. And it'll scare you a little bit at first, but once you get locked into it, you'll feel it and it'll feel amazing. And you'll just ride it and you'll just, it'll be perfect. All right, you guys. So the first cheat code I gave you, if you guys picked up on it, was the riding in dirt for a month. So 
That's a literal cheat code, okay? That will help you out a lot. I'm not even like exaggerating that. That's what got me so good, it's riding in dirt. The next cheat code I'm gonna give you guys is knee knocks. After you, this is how I learned scrapes so fast. Knee knocks are the literal cheat code to scrapes. Once you get comfortable riding in balance point, just sitting down and, and with both feet on, once you get comfortable doing that, take your knee off and start popping the clutch with your knee on your seat and do the same exact thing that you were doing when you were doing it with both feet on. Pick it up, slam it down. Pick it up, slam it down. Exact same thing, but just do it with your knee on the seat. And what that does is it gets you used to just being in a different position on the bike and it gets you used to how the bike reacts to different things. It just gets you used to the bike in a different way, if that makes sense. Not only does it help you just gain more control over the bike, but it helps you learn brake control better. So it kind of gives you more flexibility with how you use the brake in a sense, cause you're not just like, you know what I'm saying? One spot, your legs in one spot and you're just stiff riding the wheelie. You're at this point moving around a little bit and you have some type of like looseness in you cause you're not picking up, realistically you're not doing a knee knock if you're not loose yet. You gotta be able to move with the bike. Cause if you're too stiff, that's how you get thrown off. So you wanna be able to move with it and you wanna, you wanna really know how the bike reacts. So getting up in that knee knock really helps you get more control over the bike. It helps you see more in front of the bike so you can get used to looking at the sides of it and it helps you with brake control. Those are my two main cheat codes that are gonna help you guys out the most. Riding in dirt, sand, whatever, anything like that. Sand helps more than dirt, if you ask me, and knee knocks. That's literally, that's the golden, that's the golden code to learning wheelies and learning wheelies fast. Job of With the brakes, you can put more pressure on it when you're in the heat on As you get better and better, or even for the people that are pretty good at wheeling, uh, you can start to do tricks like he went from regular wheelie to a knee knock. And once you progress, you can start doing those things. But don't want you don't want to try that at first. You want to start off simple and follow the right steps, and you'll get there. So I just want to point out so you guys remember: the only thing you want to be worried about when you're starting out is how high you're getting. So like I said. Don't worry about how far you're going or how far you're getting. Once you get locked into that balance point for the first time, you'll be able to ride it as far as you fucking want. All you have to worry about is getting it up to the balance point. Once you get there, you can literally go as far as you want. And that's what I'm saying. You start the second gear, pop it up, put it back down. Pop it up, put it back down. You just want to keep popping it up and putting it back down until you get high enough and until you get comfortable that high, once you're comfortable getting that high every time, you're picking it up, you're getting almost balance point or balance point every single time you pick it up, then you can start riding it out. And it's easy at that point. I'm telling you guys, that it's that easy. People make it seem so complicated, like there's so much to it. It's really not that much to it. Clutch, throttle, and brake control. After that, you're a pro. It's not that difficult. People really overcomplicate it. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, about 80% of my viewers are not subscribed to my channel, so please consider subscribing if you guys are not. If you guys are subscribed, thank you so much. It helps a lot. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.